Hey, we are live. It's What's Cooking with Chef Noel, and we are back another week. So, welcome, guys. Welcome. Come on, all in. And today, we're going to make a quick and simple plantain dish. I'm making a candied plantain, which can be served as an appetizer, a dessert, or you know, just to complement your meal. So, come on in and enjoy. And guess what? We're going to finish off things with a cocktail so you know what to do share the video subscribe like whatever you're gonna do do what you gotta do right and tag your friends come on in we're gonna have a good time we won't belong this week we won't belong we won't belong so come on in guys make sure you comment of course tell me where you're watching from what you're drinking what you're doing what you're cooking tell me all that good things there how was your weekend what did you cook this weekend? Did you surprise yourself? Did you spoil something on the weekend? Hey, what's up? Alright, so we're going to make a candied plantain. So this is a side dish for the Christmas you know, season or whenever. You can also serve this as a dessert if you want to add some ice cream or something to it. So remember to share the video. Yes, so last week we did a Christmas cake. That video is on my YouTube channel, so you can go and check it out. You can go and check it out, it's on my YouTube channel. And my YouTube is Chef Noel Cunningham or Noel Cunningham. Also, you can go check out my Instagram at I am Chef Noel and you know, get familiar. As well as my book on Amazon, Amazon.com, Amazon CA. And yes, someone said, or Sheena said, new Udi alert. Yeah, <laughs> is that really new? I think it's my third time wearing this. I think it's my third time, yeah? Mm -hmm. I did Thanksgiving, no, and all right. So let's get straight into, into the cooking. So I'm gonna start with some coconut oil. So this dish I'm doing is just using a plantain in a nice way. And there are many ways that you can do this dish. But this way I find very easy to caramelize my plantain first. Then I can pop them in the oven, let them cook while I make my sauce. Or two, while it's frying, I can make my sauce and that. And I can also leave it on the stove top. It depends what you like, what you're going for. It depends. So I'm using a plantain not so ripe. You don't want that, like your plantain to be too ripe because that way it's too sweet. And then it's a, it's gonna clash with your sauce, right? But you need your plantain to be firm, not too soft and thing like that. So even though my the skin is dark, it's not overripe. I'm gonna switch around my board. I have a next one, but I don't think it's too ripe. Someone has worked with one. This one is not so ripe, even though it's you know. So this one could work, but this one would need the oven and lots of sauce to be cooking, right? So here we go, here we go. So, the, so we can slice our plant in any way you want. I like to do it on a bias. Like that. Nice, yeah. This nice a presentation purpose. Um, not too thin. See, it's have a nice, like, you know, one inch kind of vibe there going on. Yeah. So the next thing we're going to do now is sprinkle some sugar on this. So we are seasoning the plant. Roughly like um, a tablespoon of sugar there about. I will need some cinnamon on this just to coat it. So we got some planting. I'm looking for new ways for the festive season. This is a way that you can do your planting, okay? London people house, I see my New York massive. So once your oil is up now, then we can caramelize um, these. I think I have a little bit too much oil. I'm gonna pour off some. You don't want too much oil, just a little bit. And 
guess what? I'm gonna do a twist to it. I'm gonna add some gold rum to mine. Yeah. So just a little bit, not not for drunk. So if you're serving it as a uh, dessert, then I would advise using the rum. But if you're not serving it as a dessert, then you can still use a rum. It's your call. It's over to you. <laughs> so tag your friends, share the video last week. Our video did well. Our video did over 700 shares and over 100,000 whatever, whatever views. So, you know, that's good, guys. We're doing pretty good. So, hope you guys can see. Let me give you a little view there. So, let's fry these until they're golden. And this, trust me, this dish will be the star of your Christmas table. Or if you're doing dinner, um, boxing day, whenever, it will be the star of the table. Everyone will go for more. So make sure you get extra planting. And the good thing is that you can always fry your planting the night before, make your sauce, and Christmas day, boxing day, whenever, you can combine both together, pop them in the oven, and it's ready. All right, so these are cooking. So over here now, I got some pineapple juice. So for those of you taking notes, I got. So I got some pineapple juice here. That's roughly like one and a half cup there about. I'm gonna use some sugar still, some butter, some ginger, cinnamon still, and I'm gonna thicken it. So you can use some cornstarch or you can use some flour, um, like slurry, some flour and water mix. That's what I'm gonna use, flour. I've checked out any cornstarch. I didn't realize my cornstarch finished. You gotta keep inventory here. Yeah? Even though it's your house, you gotta keep inventory same way like, oh, I don't have this, I need this. Cause I'm the type of person will make a list. I'll make a list to go to the supermarket and either I leave the list at home or I just go and buy um, different stuff. So I'm sharing the video guys, make sure you share it. All right, so the don't want move, see that? It starts smoke. I have on the sugar on it, so you don't want to move, right? So you don't want to go on the phone like me and get distracted. But these colors are good. See, nice. You don't want to go on the phone and go talk to Maxine and Suzette and get caught up. So what I'm gonna do is these plantings are not too ripe. I'm gonna pop these in the oven in a foil pan. And I'm gonna make our sauce. So what I like is that you can get a nice color on the stove top. So you don't stay long in the oven. I'm gonna pop these in the oven. Bam! So that's just the sugar burning and doing its thing. And this, yeah, so, so it's a sprinkle of sugar and cinnamon. Just sugar and cinnamon on the, on the um, planting already. I want to use the same pot. To make the sauce in, but. Okay, I can pour my oil in this. I'm gonna pour the oil and there's a bowl in the sink, guys. I'm gonna pour it down the sink. So we got our pineapple juice now. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good.
I made some simple syrup a bit earlier for our cocktail. I'm gonna make a nice cocktail, so I made some simple syrup. So I need some to cool fast. So we can do this on high flame, the um, pineapple juice. We wanna add like um, two to three tablespoons of sugar to this, make it a bit sweet. And my planting is not overripe, so it's not too sweet. All right, then we're gonna pop some ginger in this, some ground ginger. Don't have to use the butter, but the butter help give it that nice little flavor. So it's up to you, you decide. Remember, recipe is only a guide, right? So for those of you who just joined in, and we're gonna add some more cinnamon to this. Even if, so I got some cinnamon sugar here, leave over. You could always just use this in it. Right. Then this now we need a little salt in this just to balance the flavor. Any questions? All right, so we're doing good. Okay, you guys are good. That's good. So the planting are in the oven, guys. So those of you just joining, in, they're in the oven, just cooking some more. So what I did on the outside is just to get the color and then they are now cooking inside, like making it soft, right? I didn't use an extra, extra ripe planting, but if you have a planting of extra ripe, then you don't need to put them in the oven again. I need a bigger bro. I'm gonna transfer this to something bigger. So remember some cornstarch and some water or a little flour. So we're making a glaze. Then we're gonna cool things down with a little daiquiri. How long in the oven? Just pop them in the oven until they're soft, until your fork can go through it. If your planting is not too ripe, if it's, if it's too ripe, they don't wanna stay long, right? So we're just gonna add like a and then the thing is that you don't want your sauce too thick because it's gonna go in the oven and the longer it's in the oven it's like it's gonna get a bit thicker right so I want to taste the sauce once it's thickened So the thing is, when you use cornstarch, you will see a nice sheen on the planting compared to using flour. So we're making candied planting, guys. Once we'll start to bubble now, then we'll turn it down. I'm gonna give this a taste. I love the butter in it. I love the butter um, in it. You could take a little more sugar. I'm gonna use this one over here. I could just finish this ginger in it. The butter is good. Yeah. And the sauce is getting there. Sauce is getting there. So for the cocktail I'm gonna make um, um coming up is apple tan rum, some lime juice, some simple syrup, that's it, and it's called a daiquiri. Just a lime daiquiri. 
but the flavor of the apple and rum and the lime even though it sounds so simple is just good and so i was telling you guys that we can always add some rum to this right so you want to work with um dark dark so i would say some dark rum if you're going to serve this as a side dish you don't need to add the rum to it but if you're going to do it as a dessert now with some ice cream on top kind of vibe then you can add some brandy to it some sherry some gold rum all right so can i clean up here so we can i'm not sure oh i'm gonna have mine so Yeah, so I stick the fork and let me just show you guys, you know, it's a, still a bit hard, right? So what we can do is pour the sauce over it. And it finished off in the oven, right? So I'm using a foil pan. You guys can't see. I don't have my um my casserole thingy thingy. Yes, it's for the sauce for it. And let it stay there and just do its thing. So now, if you want, you can always sprinkle a little something on top of it. Give it a nice little um, texture, right? So yeah, so individually, you just can do, you know, just do something. And I wanna pop this back in the oven, let it stay. So now you can go on your phone. You can call Maxine and tell Maxine what you got for your Christmas while you're cleaning up. You can also make yourself a cocktail like we're gonna do now. All right, so you guys understood everything? We good, we good, we good. It's a cocktail time. So we got one ounce of lime juice. We're gonna use two ounces of rum. And for our sweet now we need some simple syrup. And I'm gonna use my fancy glass, my fancy Appleton glass. Alright, so I'm gonna chill our glass. That's a shake or a cocktail. I'm, not, I'm using a brand new Appleton 8 Reserve, 8 year old, which I love. And I also have a 12, which you don't normally chase it with anything, it's a sipper, so I just bring some more sugar and cinnamon and I want to add some simple syrup like 0.5 ounces Right. 
and you want to use some orange peel and you want to you know, squeeze a little zest in it. Mm. Yeah, so you can, you know, you have guests coming over or something. You can go fancy with them. You can do like a brown sugar dark or use some brown sugar in the glass. It will give it nice color, same way. And thing, yeah, so. Yeah. And trust me, this will complement our plantains. And those should be ready. So we're gonna try to plant in two ways. Gonna try to plant in two ways. And my oven is on like 400 there. All right. Ooh, look at this. I wish you guys could see it much better or even smell it. Like it is. Oh. All right. Now, so planting ready. Boom, all the oven turn off the oven. So don't forget. Just in case Maxine call back. Alright, so this now as I said earlier guys, we can serve this on a side. As a side dish, so this could be on the table with everything else. And you just serve it up with a little glaze on it. We have extra sauce here that you just pour over it. Ooh, nice. Look at this, look at this. Right? So this is a different way that you can um, serve your plant in. And that's all we're doing today. And if you want to do, say, dessert now, you can use the same plant in, like, it's like a flambe. So what we could have done different is once finished fried, we could add the rum to the pot and a little sauce, a little pineapple juice, not too much, just to glaze it. Not to make a sauce, but just to glaze it. And the sugar, the cinnamon, same way. So you do like a flambe at home, right? We can still put a little sauce. So this sauce that's on it, we could always put it in a squeeze bottle, let it cool, and serve it like a caramel. This sauce can be served with um, like a bread pudding. The other stuff to right then uh, you could drop some ice cream on it this is i love this whipped cream so much it's um it's like a roasted marshmallow whipped cream oh not roasted but toasted oh my reading is bad i thought it was all same thing so it's like a toasted marshmallow which i love all right you could just do you know something like that and it could be dessert. Some persons don't want cake and all this stuff. So there you could have some easy dessert there. Let's try dessert first before we try our side. Yo, mad thing. Yeah. So is the whipped cream, make it short, the whipped cream, is up. I think it's a star on the dish. Whipped cream is a star on the dish and this is your side, same thing. Cheers, and I hope you guys, you know, learned something. And I hope you guys will give it a try. And you know, tell me, send me pictures. Send me pictures that me see the work that you've been doing and you're practicing. So this is a side dish for um the holiday. Um, do you have any dish you want me to do next week before? When is Christmas? Next week when? So we have a show before Christmas, right? So Christmas is when? Thursday or Friday? I don't remember.
okay so Chris uh, Christmas is Friday so we have a show Wednesday the 23rd yeah man so so briefcake last week is aside we have done so many um, main dishes next week I'm gonna make a cranberry lemon cake from my book but we can also do an entree so next week's show can be a bit a bit longer maybe like an hour full hour so we're gonna be the cranberry lemon cake it's in the book so if you want to bake along get the ingredients and bake with me and then um what else because the cranberry lemon cake is nice if you want to um add a next dessert to your christmas right and it's very very easy i use frozen cranberry and i've got some cranberry um in the freezer and yeah so what this we could do like a pot roast beef i don't know what can we do next week i see beef lots of beef in the supermarket hey thanks dion this cocktail have a buzz the lime the citrus is very heavy in it and then the sweetness and then you get the alcohol so it's a nice cocktail after you finish your dinner and you finish your dessert and you just have chill and you already drink one ton of that thing already and you just want a last drink before you hit the road or a last drink or you just want or the conversation nice just want the next drink but this would this would be the drink for that we should do a pot roast beef next week let's do all right next week we're gonna make a pot roast beef we're gonna do some potatoes we're gonna make um salad so next week we're doing a christmas dinner all right chef noel christmas dinner next week so take care guys see you so make sure you share the video so next jerk ham i might do a ham and give it away i might buy a ham so we can do a jerk ham too and i'll give it away because i don't do pork so i'll give it away so roast beef secretary she has a roast beef we're doing cranberry cake we're doing um maybe a scallop potato or some potato dish um yeah and i, I would i would do a jerk ham with some um jerk marinade um we can do coca cola we can do red stripe beer with the ham and glaze it up so if you have your ham already you want to make your sauce make your sauce some early sure all right and then for my website next year i'm going to fix my um newsletter so once I'm going to go live with something, I can send you guys newsletter with the recipe so we can cook along. Next year will be great. Next year will be great. Just let's finish 2020 and get out and then we'll fix up next year. Hold on. There's a... Alright, so we finished cook early today. I'm actually dipping on the road now. Take care of some business. And for my Toronto Massive, I got some news, but I won't show the news until maybe Friday. So my Toronto peeps, we got some news, so don't worry yourself. But I'll share it Friday here on Jamaicans.com and you will see it. And I'm also... I'm waiting on something here. All right, so big up on the seven people. Some skirt steak. That's a good one. All right, so take care. So next week we're making the pot roast beef with the cranberry lemon cake. We're doing a potato dish. We're making maybe a side dish. So we can do like a glazed carrot next week. Yeah. All right, so soon next week I'll make a nice spread here. I'm gonna clear it off. I'm gonna make a nice spread. I'll invite a few friends for pre-Christmas dinner. And then Christmas day when y'all are eating your dinner at home, I'm in my bed tweeting. Tweeting Trump. All right, take care. <laughs>